welcome to vlogmas day four i think it's day four i am about to head out for dinner tonight to six by nico with two of my really good friends we are trying the tasting menu i think that's all they do at this place is a tasting menu and it's gonna be really good it's an early meal as well which i love it's at 6 45 so i'm gonna have a lovely meal some cocktails i'm gonna show you what i'm wearing but i just want to explain because i Obviously, I'm working throughout December, like in my nine to five job, so I don't really have much footage during the day of me doing very many exciting things. So I am going to insert some clips of a Sunday roast that I went to at my brother's last week. And that's going to be the rest of this vlog because I didn't want to just keep it really boring and just show you me sitting at my desk every day working. And also, I'm in the office four days a week, so that would be impossible so the lighting is always really bad in here in the evenings it's pitch black outside and it's like 20 to 6 which is just insane so bear with me on the lighting this is the full look again using my old brown jacket which no one can get their hands on because it's like vintage this is my new scarf from oliver bonus and this bag is APC and then I'm going to take my jacket off and show you the top. Okay, this is the top. It's a blouse from Zara. It's got like, it's kind of sheer. It's very sheer actually. I've just got like a plain black bra underneath and then these trousers from H&M, which I wear to work like most days. Look, I love that this has fun sleeves and fun neck. It's kind of a bit Christmassy. <laughs> just home from six by nico i have a few thoughts i'm just making myself a cup of tea the concept is that the restaurant is like a tasting menu but it's cheap so it was four to eight pounds per person for six courses obviously the courses are small it's supposed to be you know really good value for money and the food is supposed to be really tasty i would say i actually enjoyed probably two of the dishes out of all of them. I don't think it was good value for money. And I think I think the food was okay value for money. The wine was so expensive. So I just start from the beginning. I'll just tell you what we had. So we ordered an additional little starter between the three of us. We had these like mac and cheese bites that were supposed to have chorizo through them. So we ordered two plates of those. They were like fine, but as with most of those kind of dishes, the pasta, it, like it's not creamy, it's just like dry pasta. The price of the wine was outrageous. It was 16 pounds for a glass of wine, not very cold. We had to ask like three times for the wine, like they kept forgetting it. It was not anything fancy. It was bottles that you could get in Tesco for like six quid. And they were charging like 16 pounds for a glass. It was kind of outrageous. First thing that we had from the tasting menu was the best dish, I would say, like one of my favorite dishes. I thought it was really actually very nice. It was a steamed bao bun. Although I'm not sure how it was steamed because it it tasted like it was kind of like lightly fried and it had pork in the middle. It was like pulled pork in the middle and then it was in a really nice broth with some little shiitake mushrooms. It was really yummy. And then after that, they gave us a little samosa. I didn't think that was worth 
like being on the menu. Then we had a little lamb skewer, which I did enjoy. This is the other dish that I enjoyed. It was like a little piece. It was so small though. Tiny little piece of lamb, like that size that came with a couple of different sauces and then this hispy cabbage mixture with like a veloute sort of cheesy sauce on top. That was really nice dish, but it just wasn't enough of it. It was like not a full portion. After that, they brought out this fish taco dish, which was a tiny, like I'm talking this size piece of white fish, like a tiny little square of white fish, a tiny little taco, I mean, the flavours were fine, but it wasn't, it was just very small portions. And then the final dish was a chocolate, it was like a little chocolate medley. I actually did like the pudding, but it was like a lot of foamy parfait things. It wasn't particularly tasty. I mean, this whole meal overall, I would say was like quite overpriced for what it was. I actually had a 70 pounds gift voucher for my birthday that my friend gave me. And for the three of us, deducting that 70 pounds gift voucher, it was over 200 pounds for the three of us. And it was supposed to be like a cheap tasting menu. So we all paid 70 pounds each. We only had two drinks each. I, I, I just really wasn't impressed with the quality of the food or the, the, um, the selection of the wine, like my white wine wasn't very cold. It was just like, I don't know. The decor was nice enough, but it wasn't somewhere that I was like, oh, this is doing anything different. It was just a bit, a bit naff, if I'm honest. I hope that's not, usually like I love trying out new restaurants in London, trying different places. Six by Nico has been one that I've heard of good things about. It comes from Scotland. And I think the first restaurant was in Glasgow and I always wanted to try it. I heard like amazing reviews from other people. So I had quite high expectations, I would say. And yeah, I was just a little bit disappointed, to be honest. Like, I just didn't think it was very good. Sorry if that's negative. I don't know. I just want to be honest about it. I just, yeah, I didn't love it. But anyway, I then got the tube home. And when I got to the tube at Balham, I actually decided to get a cab up the road because I've just been hearing the most awful stories lately about all sorts of different things happening around London and people getting attacked and this and that going on and I'm just like whoa you know when you watch one too many things and you're just a bit like let me just be safe and get a taxi home so I got a taxi home tonight um yeah anyway I'm gonna now insert the footage from the Sunday roast at my brother's because again it's vlogmas but I am working full time so I don't have much exciting content to show you so I'm going to throw back to last week and I'm going to put in the footage from that. So I am just getting ready to, well, I'm not getting ready now. It's 10 to 1 and I have a Sunday roast today at my brother's. He's cooking for us for the first time. Um, his flatmate's going to be there, who we also know. They're like his friends from school. Shout out to Ross and hope if they're watching. And Dale, of course, as well. My brother's boyfriend will be there as well. And we are, yeah, we're going to go around there, have a Sunday roast. Matt is at football today, so he's going to meet us there. But I have some cleaning to do before I actually get ready to go there. I'm really looking forward to it. And I got them, well, I got Jack a little gift. Um, I don't have the frame yet, but I thought I would like print out some nice photos and put them in a frame. Um, when Matt's not here, I leave this place in such a state and... When he is around, I'm always like, it must be so, it, we've got to keep it clean and everything. And as soon as he's gone, I'm just like a slob in my own. Look where packages everywhere, spoons on the ground. So I'm going to tackle these dishes. They look so gross. I'm going to get these dishes done. I'm going to tidy up here and I'm going to make myself coffee. But first I'll show you quickly what I, well, part of the gift. So I got him this little card. It says swanky new pad. Um, that was just from Oliver Bonus. They have a really good selection of cards, actually. Um, and then I got these photos developed, so let me just show you. But I'm so, <laughs> obviously, I'm not going to put this photo of me in a card from my brother, but I just thought I'd print out a bunch of pictures. So I've just printed this one. I might put this in a frame for Matt, actually, and surprise him, because I feel like he would like that. Is that really big-headed, maybe? Um, then this is one of me, my brother, 
my sister, her boyfriend, and then Matt that we had from when they came down to visit. And then me and my granddad at a wedding, at my cousin's wedding recently. This one I love of my brother, but I think it would be a bit weird to put that in a frame for him. So I'm going to frame that for me just to have in the flat. This was another one, annoyingly, I printed off because these pictures were actually quite expensive to print. And I didn't realise that both Jen and, I can't tell her, Fraser's eyes closed. No, his are open, but Jen's eyes are closed. So we're not going to be framing that one. And that's the same. And I also have this one of her, which I love. Me and her, this was during lockdown when I went home for a bit of time in lockdown. This was, uh, not Christmas, Easter lock during lockdown, which is quite cute. I've got one of like the boys in my family, which is quite sweet. I've got some of me and Matt in Paris. And this is my family, my mum, dad, brother and sister and me. So yeah, I don't know which ones I am gonna frame, but I'm gonna take a selection with me and then see what kind of frames I can get from Oliver Bonus. I'm gonna get a nice little bag to put it in and some tissue paper and yeah. I need to remember as well, he wants me to take around a cup of oats for the top of the crumble. So that's gonna, that's gonna be in there as well. I need to remember that. And obviously a bottle of wine. So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm gonna clean now. I'm gonna let you see me clean, even though it's boring. show you properly because the lighting's all funny and I'm really late just now. Well, I'm not really late. I have a few minutes but I need to leave and I don't like being late. So I have on my blue H&M blouse, my brown jacket and some black Levi's and my chunky boots and I need to go because um, I have a funny transport. I have a funny way to get there today and I'm not used to it. So I have got the oats, I've got the card that I still need to write need to pick a picture. I've got this little bag to put everything in and I need to pick up some wine and the photo frame. So I need to hurry. This is my brother's new flat, the kitchen. Oh my God, this looks absolutely gorgeous. And so cozy. Oh, sorry. He's here looking a bit frazzled my in the hair, hair department. Did you see this? Dale's here. You, you don't mind it? being on the vlog, do you? No. <laughs> so cute. Okay, Jack, come and show us everything. And then you have to open your presents. So this is the bathroom. <gasps> this is my bathroom. Oh my God, stunning. Oh my God, a candle. Yeah. Well, Are these the Aldi thingy ones? I don't know. They smell lovely. I feel like they look similar, but they might not be. 
Gorge. Oh my god, it's absolutely so cozy and cute. It's nice, isn't it? Nice little really, candle out. Got a nice candle, look. No, 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 God, it's, God, it smells lovely. Safe. God, it's a very strong candle for this tiny room. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It's nice and... Nice wardrobe. Let's put these lights on so we can see properly. Oh. 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 <laughs> Is this for me? Yeah, it's your gift. For Christmas. Christmas gift. Well, I can't open it today. I have to open it on Christmas. I really want you to open it. Why is it so big? It's, what have you got me? I, I is it a pair of boots? No, it's better it's, than that. Do you want me to uh, leave it in Is it ice here? skates? Is it rollerblades? It's rollerblades. <laughs> Keep no, it in not. there. Keep I'll it leave it in there. there just now. Okay. Oh, nice. That feels really cool. Very <coughs> nice. Very nice. Okay, now you have to come and open your gift from me. Do you want me to put a hat on or something? No. Oh, can I have a glass? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, Jack. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, it's a little family, a family picture. Oh, little Adorable. family frame. And Chrome's having a moment. Chrome is having a moment, and you can put it wherever you want. I will. It can go in the bedroom. It can go in here somewhere. I just thought me and Matt don't have any picture frames in our flat, yeah. and actually, it's such a yeah, nice thing. I've got. Yeah, I've like oh, nice yeah. framed ones. Oh my god! Oh, so, so this one little issue. I can't get the screws off the back. <laughs> of that one. Right, okay. I think I need a screwdriver. And I was oh, in the back so of the car cute. and my nails were breaking off and I was trying to... So these won't move. Uh, Those things look like they're moving. What the fuck? And I have these photos and I, you can pick whichever ones you want to Oh my god, that's so cute. That I just thought they'd so be so much. lovely for your home. They're gorgeous. Look. I love the diamonds on this one. Yeah, I just thought it'd be so glitz and glam for And you. a card. And a nice card. I addressed it to all three of you because I was, you know, it's a, oh, it's a happy home for everyone. That present I've got you for Christmas is for you and Matt. Oh, it's homeware then. Swanky new pad. To Jack Ross and Hope, so pleased you have found a lovely place to live and are finally free from Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of watches. Oh my God. Jess and Matt. <laughs> Paul, if you're watching, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Paul is Jack's horrible landlord who, Matt in the past, watch. threatened to beat you all up and... Um, he was definitely doing illegal things. So I'm gonna have some olives. Thank you so much. That's what okay. the ones that you've had on your dog. Which she, ones? She, oh, the olives that I love. The that they are the olives I love. Oh my god, that's mm. a really good bag as well. Damn, love you it. Know what you're getting your Christmas present. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, that's definitely gonna be a reusable bag. This is the gorgeous, gorgeous lamb. Jack, I'm so impressed with you. I've got a before picture if you want to add it. Okay. Clean yeah, carrots. Yeah, that is. Oh, I need to hear all about that. This is the crumble, and the oats are going to go on top. The oats made it here. That's the crumble. Everything's looking so good. Sorry, I'm just 